Hi everyone, these five YouTube thumbnails, they all came from this one single image. And I didn't spend hours in Photoshop, I generated them in under 60 seconds automatically. This is the power of Google's new brand image editing model, nicknamed Nano Banana. And today I'm showing you how to harness it for free with an A10. For those who don't know me, my name is Max and I run AI automation agency Flow by AI. If you're thinking about harnessing the power of AI for your business, reach out to me for a free call to discuss what is possible. Let's dive in. So on August 26, Google officially released their Nano Banana model. And previously, this model was only available on the Hugging Face and people were guessing whom this model belongs to. But now finally, we can test it even in Gemini and the API and we will do this in the NA10 as well. So if you look at their blog post, here are a couple of exciting demos that you can reimagine this person as a matador or you can change it to an artist, or you can change it to a sitcom, etc. So basically, it keeps the character consistent, but changes the background, changes the setting. If you look right in here, it can actually blend two images together. So think about a woman and a dog, and you want to blend the images together. It's coming right in here, keeping a consistent characters of the dog on and the woman. And it's actually perfectly working. So look at this one. You can add a mid-century uh, mid coffee table and it's right in here. So you don't need to change really anything. It just does this all for you, keeping the consistent look of the photos. This has been amazing because previously we had to do a lot of workarounds. We had to pre-train the models. We had to do fine tuning. And now we can pretty much get it straight in here. And finally, this option is where you can blend different images to create different styles, etc. So this all sounds cool and nice. And let's actually see how we can test it ourselves. So one of the things uh, the, in the ways to test it is actually to go to aistudio.google.com and here you will find an option to try Nano Banana. So this is another Google's AI platform that you can use to test different models. You can regulate the temperature, the topy, and do some other stuff right in here. But the easier probably option is going to be to test it straight in the Gemini app. So you can go to gemini.google.com and here you will see on the very top new try image editing. So if you don't want to do the automation yourself, you can just use it in the regular Gemini interface. So here I'm going to go and upload one of the photos of myself and I'm going to ask it to just edit the image. So I'm going to say edit image same person looking directly at the camera with a surprise expression. So my goal is to actually see if I can generate different pictures of myself for different thumbnails for my YouTube videos, for example. Let's see if that does any good expression. So this actually looks really, really good and quite realistic. If we're looking at the character that was right in here, um, you can guess that that's my face. Well, the, the, the eyes are probably a little bit bigger than usual, but in general, the bird, the nose, the mimics, um, everything looks exactly like I uh, look. So this is perfect. If you don't want to do the automation, you can stop here and just play around with different options. You can change the output, you can change the background, you can change, add me a hat and do a lot of stuff with it. But our goal is to actually to connect it to NA10. So in order to integrate this to NA10, I'm going to go to Google AI Studio and here there is an option to get API key. So we can go to the API key and basically um, generate the API key for us that we can use for this model. However, the code that is provided here is not really exactly what we need because this is meant for the text model, but we are looking for the image model, which is a newer one. That's why we need to click the API quick start guide and we have to click image generation. So here you will find all the documentation that is needed to integrate this model. And basically it says um, what um, REST API we have to use for the text to image model. And this is going to be looking pretty much similar to what we've seen before. The only difference is that the um, the model itself is, is, is different. But what I'm going to be looking to integrate is basically how we can change or edit images based on the other image. And for this one, we have another um, REST API request. And what is interesting here is the images have to be in the base64 format. So we'll have to convert our original image to base64. And then what we receive, we have to convert this to a file. OK, so um, let's actually go and uh, try to do this ourselves. So I will generate this scenario based on the form submission. And in my case, I will go nano banana test. Um, let's do, let's test the model. Okay. Here I'm going to add an element image name, for example. Let's do image name. And for the other one, I will need to upload your image. Upload 
your image. Okay. And for this one, we will need to upload a file. All right. So that's going to be our first step. The other step is once we get this image, let's actually test it. So let's say it's just me and I'm going to choose the file. This one, for example, let's submit it. We've got this data. So now what we need to do, we need to convert this file to base 64 so that we can pass this AI model because here it says that the image should be in the base 64 format. Go to extract from file, move file to base 64 string. And here we just need to put the name of this file right in here. So if I'm going to click execute step, I can see I received the base 64. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make an HTTP request to our Google model. And for this particular um, example, we need to get back to this guy and basically see what we need to set this up. So here we're going to be using the post request. So I'm going to go and click uh, post right in here for the URL. I'm going to use exactly this URL. Make sure you don't put the parentheses and for the authentication. So um, we're going to go with uh, custom headers ourselves. So we see here. So first of all, we need to put our API key right in here. So in order to get your API key, what you need to do is you can go to Google AI Studio and you can create an API key. For this one, I'm going to use one that I've already created. So I'm going to paste in the API key. And for the other header, um, I need to use the content type application JSON. Okay. And I'm just copy pasting that just so that I'm not making any mistakes. All right. Um, I'm going to be also sending a body request here and I will be using the JSON file in particular. But the only difference here is that this thing that I'm going to be pasting in should not have any dashes like this because this is not regional JSON. That's why not, I need to kind of get rid of those slashes that we see right in here. And let me do that real quick. We can do that with ChatGPT as well, uh, but I think it's just not that long to do it manually. So let me do that real quick. So we get this one, we get this one, this one. Yeah, I think generally that should be fine. Uh, let me quickly check if we get all the parentheses. I think we do and the format is correct. Yeah, this sounds good. So the first one is basically the text. This is going to be our prompt that we're going to use. And let me say I want to generate a picture. How do I want to edit a picture? So edit image. Let's say let's do the same um, thing we did before. Let's say we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing the same thing. So same person looking directly at the camera with a surprised expression. And once again, later on, you can make it dynamic so that this one input is going to be something you provide in the description or you, or you can have a AI actually coming up with the edits and I will show you a quick demo how we can do that. And for this 64 uh, base, we're going to use the data. And just first of all, you have to click expression and let's do it real quick. So we get this one and let's actually click test and see if we get any meaningful data from this one. So basically two things is it is the prompt and it's the the, the data. So as we can see here, um, we get the base 64 back. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to transform uh, this 64 to a file. So convert to file, move um, string to file. And the name of this one is going to be this long thread. So if I click execute step, I can see the data. And if I'm going to view, this is the image it has generated. So again, the original image was the one that I was showing right in here before. Um, we added the same prompt basically and we really received pretty much the same as we received right in here. It's just a little bit more expression probably for this one. Okay, and the last thing is again, you can add and save this file to Google Drive, for example. So let's say we're gonna go to Google Drive and let's upload a file. And for Google Drive, I have a specific folder pre-created already. So I'm going to use uh, this guy. And I'm just going to go to by ID. And for this one, I'm going to click expression. I'm going to put this one right in here. And the file name, let's do edited image. 
whatever it is. It actually doesn't really matter how we call it as for now, because I'm showing this just for the demo purposes, how you can use that. So once we do that, this image is automatically saved in our um, Google Drive and we can, you know, use this right in here. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is how you can pretty much integrate uh, this model into your N810 scenario using an API called to uh, Google, Google's REST API. And I'm going to show you a quick demo how you can generate different thumbnails of yourself from different angles for your YouTube uh, poster or YouTube thumbnail, for example, um, or for any other reasons. If you need different angles or different edits, um, that might be actually cool. So here is um, another example of an image and we pretty much have the same structure. So I'm going to go and run it and explain it while it runs. So let me select the second one and basically let's run it. So let's name this uh, YouTube, um, YouTube thumbnail. And let me choose a file and let's choose something else. For example, me uh, with this uh, in this doctor's outfit or whatever. So what happens is uh, we uh, upload an image of ourselves, and then we transform this image to 64 format. And then we have ChatGPT to actually analyze the image. And we need this to later on to provide to you additional context what this image is actually about. So basically here, a an AI model just analyzes the image, nothing else happens. Then we merge this stuff and aggregate so that we have just one um, entry coming in to an AI agent. And basically what this AI agent does, it basically generates me five different prompts. So um, this is the prompt provided with a headshot of a person and you need to come up with five different angle images of the same person, but with a different emotions. Once again, not probably the best prompt. You can give some samples and that would be just perfect for this type of model. But I think it was enough to generate sort of five different prompts. So there's a first one, 45 degree right profile, the young man viewed with a slight 45 degree, another one, another one, another one. So. And then we're going to split out, loop over items so that we generate kind of five images of the same person. And then we do the same API request to the Google as we've done just before. We convert this file to a file and save this to our um, Google Drive. And let's actually take a look uh, what we um, see right in here. Uh, let me update this one. And here we got five new images. So look at this one. I just run it and from from this image and uh, let me quickly show you the original one so let me show you right in here probably gonna be easier let me just do high so this was the original image and from this image we got five different images I mean some of them are better than others as you can see um the, for example this one I find um, a little bit less realistic looking like me but this one is exactly like me and I can see myself using this for YouTube thumbnail for sure because it's not really that important that you're basically one to one and um, for this quality I think it's it's good enough to tell that that's actually you on the picture not somebody else and you don't need to pre-train the model you don't need to run you know previously I used to run uh, I used to fine-tune the flux model to generate custom images of myself with different angles and by the way these images are also AI generated images with a flux model uh, with a fine-tuned flux model but now instead of me just going and rerunning the images with flux again and again to get the output I want I can actually get the image from the flux that I really like about myself and if I want to change myself in a different angle different mimics different outfit it's so easy to do now so this is so amazing I, I really like that so um, let me take a, a look at, at the few other ones so yeah basically we got five five uh, different images and that's pretty nice I love that and there you have it, a fully automated workflow that lets you take one image and create a whole set of consistent high quality variations using the magic of Google's Nano Banana model. This is a massive time saver for any content creator. The link to this exact N10 template is the first one in the description below. Go grab it, import it, and start experimenting right away. It's the fastest way to get up and running. If this video helped you out, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for the channel it tells YouTube that this content is valuable and helps others find it. And I'm really curious, what are you guys going to use this for? Drop a comment below with your automation ideas. I read every single one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.